Hi, I'm Melody from Pike Nurseries. Today we're going to learn all about orchids. Orchids are an easy, beautiful houseplant to grow. They bloom for weeks and even months. There are many different types of orchids. Let's talk about a few of our favorites. Here you'll see a pretty purple and white orchid. These are called Phalaenopsis orchids. They have long-lasting, rather large blooms. We also have a lady slipper orchid. And if you look at this orchid, you'll see it gets its name from the shape of the flower, which almost looks like a slipper. We also have dendrobiums. Dendrobiums are beautiful upright orchids with long-lasting blooms. And then oncidiums. These are all oncidiums, and you can see they come in many different colors and shapes. Now let's talk about choosing your orchid. You want to choose an orchid that will give you the longest amount of bloom time. The best way to achieve this is by choosing an orchid that has half blooms and half unopened buds. Let me show you an example here. You see on the white phalaenopsis, half of the stalk is in flower and the rest is in bud. This will give you a long bloom time. Now of course if you're planning on entertaining, having a party and you want a big punch of color, you can choose one that's further open, like this example here. Orchids grow naturally in rainforests on trees. That's why you'll see many of them are planted in bark. They also receive dappled light during the day under the canopy of the trees. So in your home, place your orchids in a spot that gets bright, indirect light. You'll know they're getting too much light if you see the leaves starting to turn brown. Maintaining your orchids at home is extremely easy. They only need to be watered every 10 to 14 days. When you're ready to water your orchid, remove it from its decorative container. Take the pot over to the sink and water it thoroughly, letting it soak and then letting it drain. Repeat this again, water thoroughly, let it soak, and then drain. Then you're ready to take it back to its container. Now you'll notice some gray roots that come out of the container. These are aerial roots. These also absorb water from the air. That's why you don't have to water quite so often. Orchids are so easy, they show you if they're getting too much or too little water. If you see your leaves turning yellow, they're getting a little too much. If the leaves crinkle or droop, they need a little bit more water. Stop by your local Pike Nurseries. Let us show you our selection of orchids and help you get started with your own orchids today.